George came in our establishment maybe once or twice a week. But he was a very nice person, never had an issue with him. Always had a smile on his face. And he was a pleasant person to say the least. Mr. Floyd's acquaintance first presented a counterfeit bill to an employee, and that employee acknowledged that bill as counterfeit. Now about 20 minutes later, George Floyd came in with a different counterfeit bill. Once I pulled up to the store, you know, I seen um, two to three police cars, two parked in front of Cub Foods. You know, I was just like, huh, police are up here. Must be these, some things going on. Please, please, I can't breathe. Please, man. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, man, he's not, not resisting. I can't breathe, I'm Ah, shut up. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me, man. Yeah. And then I noticed the position of how his knee is on George's floor, his neck. There's water or something. Please. Please. Ah. His stomach is actually hurting because he has no circulation and his nose is bleeding. So I proceeded to ask the officer, you know, why, you know, can't, why is, what's going on? You know, why is he not getting up? And, you know, an officer proceeded to say, um, this is what drugs do to you, you know? And I went back and I, in my mind, I calculated like, no, this is not what drugs do you do to you. You have him, you know, uh, under control, you know, why can't he get up? Man, let him breathe at least, man. Let him breathe. I've been trying to hear about it. So let him breathe, let him breathe. I understand how we got from this calm interaction with the police to what I was seeing about a man struggling or fighting with the cops and then getting killed. I, I was like, the, the two scenarios don't match up. I can't breathe. Please leave my dick. Bro, with your feet on his neck, man, you get off the His man. nose is bleeding, like, yeah, come on now. He's not responsive right now, I'm bro. Pretty much a couple minutes after Floyd's movement stopped, you know, Amblem probably arrived on scene. He black, they don't care. If you were to look at the video, you can see for yourself, it doesn't, it just, it's, it's so unjust. It's sickening. And, I mean, I can't, it's hard for me to even talk about it because it makes me so angry. I think, I think of myself or one of the other owners were here. We wouldn't have had to call the authorities, you know, maybe. That would be something I'd wish for, but we don't know the outcome. And calling the police on someone shouldn't equate to a death sentence.